Okay, so this tutorial is going to be pretty cool. Nothing sort of really advanced, but we're just going to do like a cool like sort of night city scene in uh, in this type of map. Um, it's going to be on a core hall. Uh, core hall 80 by 80 is good. This is good. Okay. Um, and we're also going to do a bit of a cinematic and some pathing and just locking the camera to a unit. But it's a pretty basic tutorial, but it's kind of fun. So um, hitting terrain close that. Um, I'm just going to put a basic skyscraper cliff here, a little bit smaller, and make it square. I'm not. I'm going to try and keep this tutorial short as well, so I'm not going to be doing like the entire map. Um, but I'm just going to be doing some sort of like basic little city space here. Make it kind of fun. Um, say, this, say this was like a corner on our map or something like that. Um, so now that we have a little bit there, let's go to our data editor. Oops. Um, and we want to click on lights and then find the one that our map is. So I, I went file new core hall. So we want to find core hall and go to this thing and then modify light. So let's pick, I'm going to do a night, like night scene, like I said, so something like that, add it to custom and then select that. You saw it got a bit darker tone map. I'm going to turn the exposure down, turn the bloom down. So so it's a bit more glowy kind of thing. You can kind of see over here on the right side. And turn up the diffuse so it's more shiny. Uh, colorization, now we're going to increase the contrast so it's darker and more uh, more uh, like uh, shiny and darker, sort of like extremes. Um, and then they're going to colorize it. I want to make it sort of bluish, nightish, nightish, and turn up the saturation as well. Yeah, now it's really saturated, but we don't want it to be red. We want it to be sort of blue. There we go. Now it's starting to look like night. Okay. So that's good. Close that and press OK. So now we have this sort of crazy night scene. And once you actually get in game, it's not as, it's not this intense for some reason. I'm not sure why, but this is pretty cool. Um, and I just press middle mouse there to go in. Um, so now let's go to uh, this little thing here and let's paint some different train. Maybe we'll paint some of this up here, some of this over here. It looks too uh, too repeated. I want to kind of make it a little bit different. That, lo that looks a bit better. And I'm just doing a little patch here, but you'd want to do your whole map, do some cool stuff. Um, and let's go to the... Pressing D, I'm going to go to the doodads palette. From your layer, you can get it also up here. Um, and I want to do some... I'm going to leave it as all. And let's start with, I don't know, I just pick, I just like to pick stuff. So let's pick a water tank. Let's put the water tank there. Structures, what do we got? Core hall building. That's kind of cool. I'm going to put it here. And the reason I'm putting it right here is ac actually because if you put it here, then your units would walk around behind it and you kind of lose sight of them. So if I put it here in a non-walkable area, it doesn't really block too much of your camera if your units are here. Um, that's just a little thing I like to do. But the core hall building also has some really tall ones, like this big. And so the reason for that is if you go back to the terrain tab and you make your low down area like this in, in your kind of off part of the map, say this is the boundary, and go back to doodads and then you can drop these buildings down here and then it looks like a city down there. So that's kind of that's kind of why those, those things are so big because they're not meant to be placed on the regular terrain. And you know, you can place some metal wall around here maybe. Maybe it's a little comp, oops. Maybe it's a little compound that's off the map. And these, this specific doodad here doesn't have collision, so you'll have to add pathing, and I'll show how to do pathing later. Um, oh, maybe a garage up here, maybe a little military compound. And uh, at the military compound, let's have some, uh, let's have some trees. Uh, a little palm tree there. I'm just pressing Control Z after each one until I get palms, and maybe a palm tree up here. No, oh, there's another palm, so maybe a palm up here. Kind of make it a sort of tropical night city. Um, uh, what was I doing? Okay, so let's go up here, and I know there's something good here. Storefront. Storefront's good. So here's one's cool. I'm just going to place it, hit escape, uh, double click it, go down here, type 270, which is down, and then just position it in like so. So then we got some uh, Rob's guns, I believe. or Yeah, Rob's guns. That's good. And there's there's other things you can do storefront two story two storefront windows, um, uh, what else here birds, not gonna be doing any of that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
city billboards. Oh, those look good. So this is a pretty cool one. I'm just going to uh, double click it and make it 270 so I can see what it is. 270. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to place that against this thing here. Can it fit it in there? Just try and get it as close as you can without going up. There we go. And I'm going to copy paste and then just double click it and change the variation number. So maybe try 12. Oh, 12 is good. Put a Sammy's food there. And let's copy paste again and put maybe a 2. Let's see what 2 is. Oh, that's that's okay, I guess. Okay. And uh, let's see. Maybe we can put some over here too. Let's make this a number 3. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And maybe something up here too. So you just got to go through, kind of have fun playing around. Cyber implants, that's fun. Uh, uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay, that's kind of a tall one. Um, I don't really have a place for that right now, unless I put it, unless I rotated it to be zero, and then put it against here. But it's not really visible, so it's not really. You want to make everything sort of photogenic. Like, I mean, there's no. If you put something like right here, you can barely see it, so the player's never really going to see it unless they magically have their camera like that. So you don't you want to play to what the camera sees. So like this little angle would be perfect right here. If I make this uh, 225, and then put it right there, so there. But you wouldn't want to do you wouldn't want to put that on something like right here, because the player's never going to see that. So there's no real effect of doing that. It's just wasting uh, wasting everybody's frames per second. And let's put some floodlights on the outskirts of the city here. And the, the direction is sort of weird. If I make it here, it's going to kind of blink around this area. Watch. it's it's uh, See, it's going all the way up there. And let's place another one maybe over here. It's going to be highlighting some s stuff. I'm going to place a blimp, blimp with ads right here. And you want to raise this so you can get the lights on it. Five maybe. Yeah, there we go. We got some blimp lights. So I got some wild lighting as you can tell here, but it's, this would be a, definitely a cool map. Or if you went in into close-up mode, uh, um, if you had a first-person shooter, but I don't know how to do that type of camera yet, but it'd be pretty wild, you can imagine, um, playing that kind of a game. Uh, it's all about the lighting, I think, now that I've discovered it. like it's It really uh, helps to uh, get people into, the, into your map, is making some really cool lighting. And I'll be showing that in a second with these things. Um, so let's put a Menx statue. Here there's a statue up here. And in the future world, maybe there's some power cables that go across. Let me make this a little bit bigger, 130%. And let's drag it on there. And what else can we do? Sign tall. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, space platform. Uh, hatch is good, I think. You should put a hatch here, maybe. Um, radar. No. Sign. Oh, this is cool. So I'm going to put one of these up here. Maybe one of these up here too. And now here's a different version. So let's put one over here. And I might have gone a bit extreme with the lighting. Uh, a bit too intense, but we'll see later. And let's change this to variation 2. And make it face down this way. Cool. And let's change this one to variation 3 make it face down this way. See, I'm kind of angling it towards the camera always because um, you just want to think about what the player sees and give them the best experience. Um, and let's put a tower. What's a tower? That's kind of cool. Maybe two. No, that's, I want them to be the same. There we go. And what are some vents? Um, yeah, maybe some vents over somewhere over here. Oh, I can't fit there. Uh, wall debris? Uh, canopy. City props. I don't know, maybe street lights later. Uh, what else is here? Wind turbine. Hmm. Ooh, biodome. That might be kind of interesting right beside this thing. 